arrested and then released. Tulare County Sheriff Mike Boudreau is questioning why two men, 25-year-old Jose Zendejas and 19-year-old Benito Madrigal, are back on the streets after they were taken into custody for allegedly trafficking $750,000 worth of fentanyl pills. CBS 47's Jennifer Ortega has the story. The Tulare County Sheriff and the District Attorney frustrated tonight, both completely unaware of their release over the weekend. I doubt very seriously that we'll see them again without a warrant for their arrest. We had not even received police reports, and I'm not sure that the Sheriff's Department had completed all the reports. So how can a decision of this magnitude be made until you know all the facts? 25-year-old Jose Zendejas and 19-year-old Benito Madrigal were pulled over by CHP Friday night. With help from Tulare deputies, 150,000 fentanyl pills were reportedly found hidden in their vehicle. These are people heavily involved in a drug trafficking organization. The case was set to be handled by the Tulare District Attorney's Office on Monday, but never made it to their desk. Neither of us were aware in you know, a Monday morning that, that this had happened uh, uh, over the weekend. That's when DA Tim Ward says he called Tulare Sheriff Michael Boudreau to find out what happened. They did everything via computer. They just looked at the booking charges. They didn't contact anyone with the sheriff's office. They didn't contact me. They didn't contact our investigators. Over the weekend, the probation department had performed a risk assessment and determined the suspects were very low risk to become repeat offenders. Such a large bus and they're out on the streets. Well, yeah, it's a great question and it certainly sends the wrong message to the community right now. We were on standby to get these police reports and then oddly we started getting phone calls at the front desk about why we released these people. Authorities say the two suspects were heading to their home state of Washington. They believe they're part of a drug trafficking organization operating in Mexico. The significance and magnitude of this case alone would argue that these people need to be held in custody just based on good common sense. And that's just not what happened here. Tonight, the Tulare County Probation Department sent out this statement saying, in part, we do not have the authority to order the release of inmates. They go on to say this was a transparent process involving representatives from our law enforcement partners. I asked the district attorney who would be held accountable for letting these suspects walk free, a question he couldn't answer. Authorities are still trying to figure out how this case fell through the cracks. In the studio, Jennifer Ortega, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.